Welcome to the What's New Voice Everywhere mini training. Make sure your Seesaw Class app is up to date and have another window or device ready to follow along with the steps. Teachers and students use their voice in the classroom in powerful ways. Seesaw now harnesses the power of voice better than ever. By the end of this video, you will know how to add a voice recording to labels, shapes, images, and captions, upload audio files, and lock the size of objects on the canvas. Add voice everywhere. Teachers and students can now add audio recordings to labels, shapes, images, and page captions. Here's how. On an object, click the three dots, then click voice. Choose record voice to record up to five minutes of audio in Seesaw, or choose upload audio to upload an audio file up to 250 megabytes. Click the speaker icon to listen. It looks like this. You can find it next to the object here. To remove or replace an audio recording, follow the same steps. Click the three dots, click voice, then click the trash icon. From there, you can either re-record in Seesaw or upload a new file. You can also add an audio caption to a page. Click the caption icon, then click record voice or upload audio. You can have a unique caption for each page of a post. Click play to listen or click the trash icon to re-record. Teachers can use audio recording to support instruction. Read directions or other text aloud to support comprehension, record content in another language to support English language learners, or record extra explanations, reminders, or background knowledge students might need to access learning. Students can listen to audio recordings as many times as they need. Students use audio recording to take their learning even deeper. They can share, explain, or reflect on specific parts of their learning, share music or podcast creations, or verbally respond to questions or prompts. There can be up to 20 audio recordings per page. This includes audio recordings a teacher makes and audio recordings students make. Keep this in mind when creating Seesaw activities. A quick note, audio recordings cannot be played at the same time you or students use the microphone tool. Students will need to listen to the audio recordings before they use Draw and Record. It's your turn. Try adding an audio recording to a label, shape, image, or caption. Next up, teachers can lock the size of an object. For certain Seesaw activities, students need to move labels, shapes, and other objects around the canvas. Sometimes, little learners can resize or edit the object accidentally. Teachers can now lock the size of labels, shapes, images, and videos. Students will still be able to move the object, but they won't be able to edit or resize it. On a label, shape, image, or video, click the three dots. Click lock and choose lock size. Students can still move the object, but they cannot edit or resize the object. If you want to lock an object size and location, just click lock all. Locking size makes the all popular sorting and dragging activities in Seesaw easier for students. There are even keyboard shortcuts to help you do this super fast. To lock all, click on the object you want to lock. Mac users click Command, Shift, M, while PC users click Alt, Shift, M. To lock just the size, click on the object you want to lock. Mac users click Command, Shift, L, while PC users click Alt, Shift, L. Don't worry, whether you lock all or lock size, students can always play the audio recording. Try it out. Lock the size of an object. To access these new features, make sure to update your iOS and Android devices. If you're using the web, just go to app.seesaw.me. Thanks for learning with us today. We hope these updates help your students access meaningful learning experiences everywhere they sign into Seesaw. See you again soon here at Seesaw.